Good morning. How's everyone doing this morning? I'm so happy to be here. It is my honor to give you a keynote on a very, very abridged history of application security. The whole point I'm trying to make here is not to discuss the problems of application security, but to show you things are getting better. We're making progress. This is an incredibly important topic for all of humanity. And I know a lot of us who are in the field working on this problem, it is stressful, it is difficult. It is like a salmon swimming uphill most of the time. But when you're inside of the problem facing it, it's gonna seem like we're not making much progress. But the point of this keynote is we're gonna zoom out. We're gonna take a look at application security from the last 50 years. And from that perspective, I think we're gonna see that things are getting a lot better. It's all about perspective. The reason I like doing keynotes is for one reason only, so I can get keynote selfies with all of you. Let's do this. You can't just sit there. I need like a little, I need a little something. So right, ready, ready? Come on, give me something. Yeah! One more, one more. Yeah, there we go, okay. So what's this talk all about? It's the history of application security. There's a couple subtopics. I want to show you that being a jerk on Twitter can help make the world a more secure place if you do it right. The third thing is that it's important when you're giving a keynote, if you have friends in the office, if you have friends in the audience, to invite them on stage to get selfies. So this is the whole point. History of application security, cool. How to be a jerk on Twitter and save the world and bringing your friends on stage to take keynote selfies. Seem like a good set of topics for today? Is this good? Okay, let's, let, let's get to work. My name is Jim Manico. P please say hello to me on Twitter. Um, I'm a former board member of OWASP, an author, and I work on a lot of OWASP projects in a leadership position. Let's go back to ancient history of application security, the Dark Ages. The first major document in the West on application security, we see the, a 1960, the 1967 task force doing some of the first information secure reports. And this, this is all classified in the, in the US and uh, by the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, DARPA. So they're doing some classified uh, classified reports on information security, this is really the first time we see professional publications. It was actually declassified a few years later. And we see in 1970 and uh, 1975, the whole world gets to take a look at this. So this art and science of information security is only about 50 years old at best. So here, and these reports, if we look at them, wh what do you think the summary of these reports are? This is the first time we have real major IT running government and military. We have uh, some experts in information security analyzing government systems. Guess what the summary of their report is about the status of information security in the US government? Yeah, yeah, shit is messed up. <laughs> that, that, that's a nice summary of the whole report right there. So let's take a look at the history of security testing then. The first security testing device in modern history is the bomb. This is written by, this is actually built not by the Brits. The Brits did not crack Enigma. It was actually done by a Polish researcher. Um, that, he really didn't get a lot of credit in, in history for the work he did, but a team of Polish researchers are the ones who actually built the research to crack, um, to crack Enigma, and then, and then the British team took over that research. 1972, we see the Anderson Report coming out. First, collect, first, report, first testing report I know of in information security. We see the Air Force beginning aggressive testing in the 70s. We see in 1979, the first static analysis tool, right? Lint, this is the first tool in history to look at code to look for security problems. And now, it, and, and there's a dark age for about, for about 20 years. But around 95, a tool called Satan comes out, Security Administrator Tool for Analyzing Networks. And this is the first security scanning tool that almost every security professional gets their hands on. This is the real beginning of the automated security testing age around you know, not 1996. That is not that long ago. This, I was a professional writing code at the beginning of my career, and that's when scanning tools first came out. So let's zoom back. 
this is a brand new industry. We are still learning and maturing our capabilities. So 1998, we see Jeff Forrestal at a Usenix meeting, a, a Usenix publication on Christmas Day. For the first time, we see the term SQL injection, uh, SQL injection used as a term. It's like not that long ago. And then 99, we see cross-site scripting declared at Microsoft for the first time, defined at Microsoft for the first time. 2001, OWASP is now active. WebGoat is released. And I remember when WebGoat came out, that changed everything in application security because now all of us doing application security, like all 50 of us or all like 20 of us, we were all looking at WebGoat, attacking it. WebGoat is an education platform. It's a purposely insecure application that, with challenges to hack. And now everyone's downloading WebGoat, and we have a common, uh, common environment to discuss security vulnerabilities for the first time. It accelerated the discussion of, of application security. 2003, we get Metasploit. 2006, the OWASP testing guide is first published by Own Kiri and others. 2010, OWASP Zap is released with an active attack scanner. I remember one of my students downloading it, using it, scanning a site, and going to jail because they were attacking sites with this combat scanner. This is meant for assessment, not to attack, but Anyways, let's move on. 2013 is the beginning of the DevOps era. This is where we see Gene Kim and some of the early Etsy employees automating the security testing of software as part of a block to checking in code. And in 2015, we see Defect Dojo come out from OWASP. Now this is hardcore. Defect Dojo is an open source orchestration and testing and DevOps framework. I can go download, OWASP app, OWASP dependency check, SEMGREP, and in like 20 minutes, I have a full open source scanning orchestration framework. It is amazing. And this is the kind of stuff that we would spend hundreds of hours working on. It's now a download. So we're making radical progress. 2020, we see a free piece of software called SEMGREP released. This is the first enterprise class code scanning tool that you can download and use for free. It's a DevOps tool. It runs in like 30 seconds. There's, uh, there's SEMGREP, there's Shift Left, there's Sneak who has these capabilities. Now we're seeing modern static analysis tools being built that run fast for a DevOps lifecycle. In 2022, today, DevSecOps, the idea of automating security testing as part of the developer lifecycle is now the norm. It's now the main way I see most companies doing code. So where do we start? We started with a group of Polish researchers with hammer and nail and wire physically building a testing tool to crack Enigma to save, to save us from the horrors of World War II. And flash forward to today, the norm is when I check code in, hundreds of security tests are run that, that enable me to run fast, but also checks my work to make sure I'm doing security as I go as a developer. How far have we come in less than 50 years? We've come a long way. So that's the point. I want you to zoom out and look at the history of what our industry is doing. And you'll see today we have security integrated into GitHub in mature ways. We have a whole industry, like a $10 billion industry of application security scanning tools. We have pen testing is still expensive, but there's not enough people out there. The need for testing is there. Compliance is growing. Open source tools are maturing. We have a lot of powerful tools at our disposal today that were not even there just a few years ago. We're making progress.